Hi and welcome back to my solo playthrough of the Plum Island Horror. There were of course some goofs during the last episode um, and I also missed a ton of stuff but I think the one piece I might be actually able to correct was that I forgot to activate an entire lane on one of those fate cards. I think we should be able to sort things out because these folks would have activated um, so they're eating this fella over here, which will increase this pile. And afterwards, this pile should basically add it on here. I will also add a biohazard cube into the bag for that. And I think that should more or less solve the problem. Unfortunately, this also means we are really running low on biohazard cubes. And whenever you have to add one cube and you can't, you will immediately increase the biohazard track by one. Wow. Okay, but I think everything else I will not correct or change. It is what it is. It's my first time playing. We are entering our second night phase, which means we have to feed our heroes. But I think this shouldn't be an issue. They have to eat five, even though we lost uh, Biff Rogers here. Unfortunately, Fort Courage, I think, still counts. Could be wrong though, I will check that in a second, but for now I will remove five supplies here. And up here it's the same here, we haven't lost, we haven't built the compound, so we are also losing five supplies. So we have fully fed our folks here, nice. And then we can draw our first token out of the bag. This could be a relatively short video actually, if we are dying soon. And yes, of course, if we are starting with something like this, it's not unlikely that this video might be over in about 10 minutes or so let's see okay track one is getting spawned we are still on only quote unquote three uh, which are spawning here in the track one we, again down to only two left here and then yeah we do have a search and we have to draw a fate card for that and i think they're basically activating twice and we have the plus one movement on each of these tracks now from one of these pesky event cards so it's track five which is getting activated twice but good thing is we have drawn two draw event cards out of the deck so i think we should definitely go for follow actions this round but yeah, this could become really, really problematic though. Those are five, which I believe means they're moving two areas because it's night, they're moving three areas. And because of this plus one here, they're moving four areas now. One, two, three, four. Still okay, we are still standing. These fellas, I think this is even worse because they will move five spaces now in total because they're only three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and then they activate again. Oh gosh, that will be a problem. Similarly here, they will move one, two, three, four, five. Oh boy, I think, okay, um, that was that. Now we can remove this token here. That was our first activation only. But then these fellas will move again, one and two, and we are removing this stack now from the game, right? I think that is the case. So these fellas are out of here. They will not go to the common pool. Um, that's really a bummer. This area now gets his overrun marker and therefore we are increasing the overrun track by two more spaces. Unfortunately, that's not all I believe, or is it? These fellas will also get activated a second time, but I still think they're now moving one, two spaces plus one because it's night. I believe this plus one market doesn't count for the search, only for the first part of it. I could be wrong though, but for me, it seems we still have some time actually dealing with those folks. Of course, if they're now activating again, this will give us an additional overrun point. Wow, this was a great start into the new round. We are drawing our next chit from the back and it is okay pearls the security services. So we get to ooh, do something. What do we do? 
And yeah, while thinking about the free movement now, I did also remember, I think I also goofed up. I think he only had a movement of one and I moved him twice, which means I will not move him this round. I will simply lay him down. So now he would have been able to pick up those supplies here, but it didn't really affect the gameplay at all. We were able to fully feed all our heroes. So I think we are good, but we, I will, that's basically my, my way of trying to repair the situation. So we're not going to move him. Not sure I would, have anyway but yeah you get the idea here i think i will move this fella mr mccoy down here one step and i guess we are moving dr corey i think here into mark's foreign auto do we want to repair something here or not no let's not do that we are simply moving here they could basically pick up some supplies there and i think that is it we are not moving anyone else right now at least not with our free movement and then we get to take three actions I still believe in search cards, so we're searching with him, even though they really screwed us over last turn or last round, basically last video in here with red tag sales flyer found. Your unit realizes that there could be hundreds of extra shoppers and some really good bargains at the mall. Place two random regular civilian units into the home grenade mall for E along with four supplies. And then, yeah, we are exhausting the area. Not really sure if this helps or not, but let's do it anyway. And in fact, I just noticed it's right here, actually. So we have found, oh, I can't really read this from Utrecht Viking Cruises and Big Nate's Clothing Store. And how many? Four supplies. Mm, okay. Again, I think we can only pick them up as part of our movement, those supplies. But okay, we will get there. That wasn't too terrible, actually. Normally, I think it's okay. With our second action, we will move the hero of the day. One, two, three, four spaces over here. And then I think we are taking a fire action here into this stack. We really need to do some damage control here. Oops, this was this one here. And again, he's rolling three ranged attack and now it's open terrain cool let's see that's two and two is just not good enough we really we really need this one even if this one unit is moving in here it will still cost an overrun point but okay it was a good start I, i'm not complaining here but those were all the actions which means we are now taking follow actions and we will take our first follow actions also with the hero of the day we will shoot right into that space again and yes there that we don't need to roll here again which means awesome yeah we have gotten rid of some of those okay i think that wasn't terrible of course we still have to see if we have to resolve an event no we don't and then i think our next follow action will be with the shore patrol here we will shoot into this stack here. again this doesn't cost us any sort of um, ammunition also which is cool so we're rolling Two dice and completely whiffed it. Okay, but I take it, no event card. That wasn't too bad, actually. So yeah, let's draw our next token. Okie dokie. And oh, ah, it's pearls again. Not sure if I like that at this point in time, quite honestly. But of course, not complaining here. Um, so we get our free movement. And again, as part of our free movement, we will pick up those supplies here. That wasn't too bad at all. Um, are we moving him somewhere or not? Hmm, not sure here, actually. Maybe we do. Yeah, let's move him up here, actually. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do that. So we moved him. But then looking around the board, I guess we are not moving again right now, at least not with the free movement. I have to really think about what I'm doing with the hero of the day. I think we have to move him back up, actually. And I think that's what we're going to do with our very first action. One, two, three, four four back in here second action is to shoot at this giant stack here unfortunately it is a building location so this doesn't do anything but here we have a hit we get to roll again that's another hit okay i certainly take that another hit now we are talking wow okay three and a half that wasn't terrible at all nice job hero of the day whoever you are and yeah for our third action we could do that again but let's rather draw another search cut here crates full of berries it will exhaust the area but 
Well, let's see. A pickup truck full of freshly picked berries goes barreling past your unit. The truck sign says, have a very nice day. And you send out word that it looks like some nourishment and a massive vitamin C boost can be found close by. Place three supplies and a random civilian units in the Sherry's Berry area. One j which is down here so here are the three supplies and here we have artie wolf's whiskey emporium okay so we already exhausted the area mm, it wasn't great but also not really bad so these were our three main actions we still get to take follow actions for sure we are shooting here again with our hero of the day for our first follow action that is only one hit, but yeah, we will take what we get. Um, so let's see, no event, nice. And I think let's do that again. We need to reduce this stack down. We need tokens back in the supply. Okay, it's one more for now. I take that and let's roll that die again. Ah, unfortunately only a shield, but okay. It's another token removed. Let's see, and yeah, this time we do have to resolve an event card. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Infected plane crash. Spawn a murder of horror stack directly into the old Republic airport stack. So we just removed some, now we are getting those back. And interestingly enough, it's exactly here. So we have to do a fight. So it's four now, um, four dice actually, indeed. Let's zoom out a tad. And okay, blanks are blocks. Um, we are taking only one hit, right? So we are ignoring that, but we are inflicting two points worth of damage. So that wasn't too terrible, but of course this means we have to put another red cube in there. And keep in mind, that's the special ability of the hero of the day. Yeah, blanks basically count as a shield. So maybe that wasn't too terrible. Those were both of our follow actions. So let's draw the next token. And there was one special ability, which I believe I have forgotten um, with Dr. Venkman. He could have pulled out these cubes out of the back. So instead of searching, I should have done that actually. But okay, of course, I will not take things back. And yes, of course, it had to happen. There are still there's still one more in there after this one. So we are spawning on track six. We never get a rest up here. And tracks one and two are getting activated and they're moving twice actually, or they're moving one space further. Down here, these two are not moving. Here we have to draw a cart and that's a two, which means they are moving one. Well, basically they're moving in here. So, which makes this combat here a little bit more crunchy actually. These fellas will move down here, but I think this means, yes, we have basically lost this. Even though it didn't do anything, we still have triggered movement there, but we have to resolve three combat points or three combats, which means we're adding the three Three final cubes into the back. Yeah, this is getting bad. So we are doing this combat here. She's rolling three dice, right? Ellie May. And yeah, that's pretty dead. Of course, she will still take one point of hit unless we are rolling a shield, which we do. Nice. So this is gone. But again, it was close combat. So we're adding one cube in here. Still, that was helpful. Over here, we get to choose. So I think they could die because they're doing no, it's only one point of damage, right? Four. Yeah, it's it's a build. No, in this case, I think we will go for the Wolverines, actually. Yeah, let's totally do that. Let's see. Yeah, we have to move this shit out here a little bit. Again, they're rolling three dice now. And again, they're getting one hit if we are not defending. We are defending. Cool. Um, and we are still getting one extra damage die out of this. Okay, this didn't help us, but we are removing two more chits here. Nice. We are not taking any damage point, but of course we are adding one more cube into the back. And last but not least, over here we have Dr. Wenkman. He's also getting one point of damage. It's a building location. He's, oh, he's rolling three dice. That's not too bad. So it's one dead. And we are blocking the damage, but again, we are adding the final cube into the back. And that was only quote unquote track one activated. Let's continue with track two. They will move down here. And I think, yeah, these are, yeah, these are more than six. So they are more moving normally one. 
because it's knight it's two and because of a plus one they're moving one more now we can also get rid of the extra horrors move here so the only combat we see here is mr gordon feedy I think these are five now right so yeah he takes two points worth of damage and unfortunately he's only here yeah, it's, it's really busy here now he's only rolling one die actually right yeah yeah indeed yeah okay he's taking full two points which is just okay not to kill him we can't add another biohazard cube into the back because it's empty so we're moving the biohazard marker one step further oh boy but i believe this was the chit fully resolved let's draw the next one and let's see okay this time it's the neighborhood watch they get a free move and i think yeah let's help here maybe so we're moving her up here which her free move unfortunately that's only two i think we have to move him out here right otherwise he is pretty much toast yeah let's do that we are moving him here actually with his free move he could move two spaces but yeah let's let's leave him here that's fine i think he can still search there we leave mr kruger there and i believe we want to move sergeant york two spaces up because he can still fire into that space which you can't really see so it's here oh this bridge is damaged did i Ooh, did i move someone out of here or not i really can't recall if i did i shouldn't be allowed to do that actually hmm let's take our actions we will start with sergeant york he is spending one supply to shoot into this deck and we get a re-roll a free re-roll basically with him which why i think it's worth doing that for him and he's also rolling three dice so ultimately not too bad but i think with three we are not going for a re-roll right that was totally worth it nice job cool so i think we are now a little bit in control over this sector here which means with our second action yeah i was thinking about not sure if i'm now allowed to shoot into this area while this is still compromised um i really don't know and it feels a little bit like cheating if i would allow that actually so maybe we are not doing that instead because rolling now three dice for one unit is bad but then again if this would be moving in no i think we have to do that we will take a shooting action into the same zone basically let's roll three oh ooh. <laughs> that was epic so let's do that again actually because we can still continue so with our third action we are firing again wow just barely have we gotten rid of this token but at least we are not moving the biohazard track this way so now we get follow actions problem is we can't um, do special actions with follow actions that's really a little bit of a downer so we are shooting again with the hero of the day into this stack now of course and okay it is one hit for now let's roll that again okay that's two hits not terrible not complaining here good stuff um, but of course we have to see if we have to resolve an event no we don't are we doing that again now or should i go for another hmm, search card here i think i will actually how many bad cards can there be okay red hard rocks amphitheater collapse hmm, this can't be good right your unit comes upon the red hard rocks amphitheater where a concert was scheduled featuring the rising country music star brad Bablin brooks fans roadies and the star himself are trapped inside the clubhouse and the parking lot vendor area is wrecked check your army's admin rating that is four okay cool so you are a star that's the green one here which means the unit's rescue attempt has succeeded. Place the Brad Bablin Brooks VIP civilian units, two random regular civilian units, and the two supplies in this area. So here we have the two civilian units. Here we have the rock star, Brad Bablin Brooks. Um, Yodel Serenade. Okay, we have to check that what it does, actually. And here we have the two supplies, which we can pick up if we are moving his special 
Ability though could become in handy. This up and coming country superstar was on tour when the big storm hit. Now we, he and his road crew are fighting for their lives. One key weapon that he possesses is his remarkable singing voice and in particular his mesmerizing yodel. Any player may use a combat action with this unit, as if it is an NPC unit, to attack actually to serenade one horror unit in the same or an adjacent area draw a fate card and on a two to five the horror units is stunned wow 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 that is actually pretty cool i really have to remember this anyway the area is exhausted we are this resolve we fully resolved this card and then we have to check if we have to resolve an event and no and i believe those were the two follow actions not too bad the problem is there are now two bad tokens and one good tokens in this bag and we will start with a good token so we get a free movement first so yeah i think we are actually moving her in here because here she is better protected he will actually move in here so maybe he can or we can move this fella down actually and then we could heal no let's move this fella down actually let's do that which means we are leaving him here um, we are not moving him. I think he will continue showing, really making a mess here. We moved Ellie May, and I think that's it, yeah, because we have lost one of our dear soldiers, Mr. Rogers. But we still get to take three actions. Our first action will be to. Oh, he could have healed himself, right? Didn't really. But it's, it's still okay. We are removing one cube here from Mr. Feely. That was our first action action our second action is to yeah let's shoot in here actually with the hero of the day let's pan over just a hair and these are two more hits not terrible look at that we really got some chits here back nicely done and i think with our third action we are shooting mid mr york here um so we have to spend one supply but i think we are still okay on supplies and because of his reroll that's why i'm doing this and of course we are shooting into this area so we get a reroll i will reroll them all I don't want half hits okay it's, uh, one one is really bad but okay i take it anyway so these were our three normal actions now we get to take follow actions with one follow actions i want to use or try the yodel serenade on this space here basically to stun them so we have to draw a fate card and it's a four which means they are now stunned that certainly does help cool let's see if we have to resolve an event no we don't and with our second follow action we will shoot again with the hero of the day really getting this fella out was so incredibly important okay it's one hit for now we get to roll one more two more hits you are a star for sure let's see no event cool but now the remaining two tokens will be bad so let's remove this let's draw the pen ultimate shit that's the impending doom which means we are drawing our next event card death from above and wow we are getting our first mutation out spawn the birds of prey mutation standing in the inga forest to b okay if the sharps rifle shop civilian units is on the map or evacuated lord sharp himself snipes a few birds from the sky okay with one hit cube already on it so this is something i really have to check now and in fact down here we have sharps rifle shop cool stuff so here is the standee so it normally has four but in this case it starts with three already where does it go right to B and I already assigned the hit point of camera and uh, basically his movement is a fly value we are drawing a fate card I will come to that when we are activating this lane okay that was this card done let's draw the final chit let's act surprised we are activating another or basically another fate card so track two gets spawned but not activated at least not yet we are still only on three which right now we can't actually afford but we have to do a search which is lane one yeah this isn't nah that's not pretty 
The thing is, neither of those will be moving, but they will be fighting again, basically. The first activation, we will fight here, then we will fight here. If they are still around, we will do the same thing again. Here, um, they only do one damage. We will continue, we will fight with the Wolverines again. So let's see where I can place the dice tray. We are rolling three dice. It's one hit only. Okay, they are out of here. That is beautiful but the wolverines will take their third hit now they still have one more left but we are not activating them again we are still uh, advancing the biohazard marker by uh, by one space going to the eight so i can't really change that and then down here we do the same it's also only one point of damage he is rolling three dice ah one that's really not great and therefore we are advancing this to nine and now we are moving to four tokens okay that could become a problem and of course we do have to put a wound on dr wenkman he is still okay i almost forgot he has to fight again the second activation from that search and yeah these are dead mm -hmm. we are advancing the biohazard track one more step and we are putting the third wound on dr wenkman but again right now he is still standing and i believe that's the end of the night phase actually so of course we have to do some stuff uh, we will replenish all the locations which means all those exhausted markers will go away i will do that off camera again not really fun to watch the mutation is regenerating that's kind of a bummer so the birds of prey they will lose their wound cube but it is what it is yeah now the problematic piece is here at the biohazard so we are drawing two cubes we need green cubes no that's not a green cube and yeah that's three more one two three four more spaces and we will immediately lose the game but that's basically it we are moving into the final day of this playthrough we still have three actions this very first round then it's two and then it's one so we will have to survive but this this, I believe right now we can somewhat manage. This now, for whatever reason, has become a problem. Wow. Okay, let's draw our first token for the new day. And of course, wow, we were starting really, really badly. We have an event. Oh, we <laughs> more mutations. I mean, they had to come. March of the Wild-Eyed Reds. Draw a fate number. Okay, let's do that. That's also too interesting um spawn the wild eyed reds mutations then directly into the lowest lettered building area on that track number if the latimer pest control civilians on the map or evacuated the fumigate fumigation crew manages to blast a red pack with poison okay it basically or it also starts with one hit on it here we have this and uh, what do they mean the lowest lettered I mean this must be the c then in this case right so we're adding it here this was two i keep knocking over this piece and i have to check again if we do have the pest control here not sure it really does matter actually i did check the board and unfortunately i found the token they have been eaten by zombies let them a pest control so unfortunately they are not getting any initial wounds but okay that was the first chit resolved let's draw the next one right away and yeah more good news of course let's draw our fate card so track one is spawning and track six is activating oh interesting those fellas will move in here of course and here we have three right so they would move one and we have to draw a card i think it doesn't matter actually because they will move three spaces four spaces actually because of the plus one yeah that's bad so one two three four then we can remove this plus one marker it's not night but we had the plus one marker and now we have to fight up here so our hero of the day has to show how heroic he's going to be so we are rolling four dice actually and taking three hits which wouldn't kill him actually so he would still be standing um yeah that's not great so we are removing one i take that for sure we are oh we are only taking one point of damage so i think that was okay because blanks do count nice okay and i believe those were all the activations ah, okay 
Next token, and I forgot, of course, it was a close combat, so we are moving the biohazard marker one space to the right on level 14 already. Let's draw the next chit. Okay, we are getting a go. Cool. Ultimately, I have decided not to move anyone, but during movement, we are picking up those supplies here with uh, Mr. Biardi. Uh, we might need those. I think these were all. Ah, we could pick up more actually, maybe. Yeah, down here. Before we can't do that, I think let's. This was too. Uh, I keep knocking these over. So let's pick those up. Are we sharing a space anywhere? No, we can't. Then, then you are allowed to trade these supplies actually. Mm, but okay. But that was actually really the movement. Now for our first action, we are doing the decontamination here again, which allows us to reduce the biohazard track by one, uh, by two actually. That was important. Then I think we will have to move the shore patrol over here. It's a little bit wasteful, but I'm still doing that. And with the third action, we are shooting into that space with two dice. It's still again, ah, is this our best? I think we have to do that though, right? Let's do that. Let's find space for the dice tower. We are rolling two dice. Again, we are shooting into this area. And yeah, that was a complete whiff. Okay, but these were all our actions, basically. So now we get to take follow actions. With one follow action, we will shoot in here. We will shoot. We can't afford any more. Uh, should we move out, actually, before? Because if they activate again, uh, let's shoot. Okay, cool. Two hits from the hip um one extra shot okay that was not good enough but that was two so we are resolving no we're not resolving an event hmm let's do that again actually absolutely we'll shoot there again with our second follow action okay uh, it's only one more hit but yeah i think we are okay here <laughs> so we have shifted our priorities a little bit so biohazard might become our problem now of course, we have to resolve our event track. No, we are not. So we are drawing our next token from the back. And we have, what's this? Fate. Okay, again, these have to happen, right? So track one, again, spawning. Okay, it's four now. Oh, did I do that incorrectly before, actually? Should there be one more somewhere? Which one did we activate? Um, I think it was this. I think actually we should have one more here and now we are adding four more here. Yeah, I think that's the case. So hopefully that was all right. And Trex 202, too is bad because these suckers will now all move. Okay, yeah, this might become a problem. They move in here, cool. The red will also move in here. Mind she can take it on the chin, but now she has taken some serious. I think she might be dead now, actually. Oh gosh. And the birds of prey. Um, that is something I believe we have to draw a fate card for. That's number one. Draw a fate number to get the track. The unit flies to then draw another fate number and add plus three. The unit lands in the resulting area on that track. Okay, that is interesting. So it's on one. And then five. Yeah, we did that. Draw a fate number to get the track number. That was the one. Okay, we knew this one. Then draw another fate number and add three. The unit lands in the resulting area on the track. And yeah, I know what this is doing. This is basically increasing the chance that we're getting an overrun. So we already had an overrun here, which I believe is now the pile on rule or so. So we're removing this fella from the game, but therefore adding one more overrun point here. Huh. Okay, and then we have this epic fight here. I believe we are starting with the mutation here. So it does simply four hit points, no matter where it is. Um, yeah, that's definitely a problem. She will defend with three combat dice. So yeah, she might be dead. Of course, we can still run away then or get the final stand or whatever this is called. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. So we have to add this here. I have to remove this. So these were two hits. And we are rolling one more because it was exploding. But no, yeah, that I think she is not basically dead, but we are removed. No, it was two hits on, ah, that's so bad. These were simply two hits on the reds, which means they're still not dead. She is dead though, which means um, her bravery rating is three. And that's a four. No, she is certainly dead. 
Oh boy, she was our star. We are adding one more horror stack. I think we are adding a horror stack here to the area. And the biohazard track will go back up to 13. Yeah, that wasn't pretty at all. So then we are drawing the next token. Okay, we only have one more bad token in here. So now we have pearls going next. And I think the only movement I want to do is with Captain Biardi here or Kevin Biardi here. He will then maybe shoot into this massive stack here, which is not moving very fast. That is something, but still not sure if there is something meaningful we can do about. Of course, we can also shoot at this fella. Maybe that's the better deal shooting at the wild eye because then we could get rid of it right yeah we do have the supplies so let's do it anyway which means we are spending one supply and we are rolling two dice afterwards he could move but yeah that's half a hit amazing amazing job um not sure if this does make sense in any way actually let's do that one more time no let's do that one more time we are not moving that's our Second action. Gosh, this is so bad. Nah, this doesn't make sense. No, no, I will not continue. And I think with her, we are actually going to, yeah, use a vehicular movement. So we are spending one supply with her. She has a vehicular movement of five. One, two, three, four, and five into that space. Because here we have another one of those. Okay, cool. As for follow actions, we will shoot again with the hero of the day. We know the drill. Oh gosh, this is so bad. Now things are going wrong again. We are not drawing an event card. <sighs> I'm not sure if there is anything more meaningful. Yeah, maybe. Let's shoot with Sergeant York. So maybe we can get rid of the last fella in there. We get a reroll. That's at least something, right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we are rerolling for sure. Okay, this one is down. Okay, that was somewhat important. And yeah, we have to resolve an event card this time, of course. So yeah, let's see what we get and <laughs> patience. See, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Spawn. Three murder of horror tiles in the Good Samaritan Hospital. <laughs> Tucci then draw three cubes. Yeah, that's basically game over i believe so three right it's exactly three yeah yeah tiles in the good samaritan 2g which right now is kind of okay no it's actually not because pop donuts is eaten which will increase the biohazard track to 14 because they have been eaten this means we are increasing that while well, these events can be bad and now the brutal part is three cubes from the back and this can be game over actually Okay, here is one, here is two, and I think that's already it. And here is three, though four more spaces. One, two, three, game over. Bam, bam, bam. Ah, boy, yeah, interesting twist of events. I, for a split second, I thought we might have been able to make it, but then this biohazard track was really going crazy. I should have removed, or at least tried to remove some more biohazard cubes with Dr. Leo Bones, Corey's um, ability here. And I, I could have done this actually now, and I think I, I could have done this twice, I believe, actually. Yeah, this was really stupid and then totally on me, because apart from that, I do think that this this game is really not unfair in any way. There are a lot of things that you can do, but there's so much going on, especially when playing alone, controlling two factions, plus the NPCs, plus all the things that you are simply missing out on some good opportunities, some of these special abilities. I think this came back to bite me in the end. So I think with a second pair of eyes, this game is completely manageable and I can't wait to bring it to a normal game night or so to play it with some good friends actually. But yeah, that's basically it i really enjoyed the heck out of this game great experience i really have to say that it's it's i think really my number two zombie themed game last night on earth will always be my number one but this one could be number two actually i really enjoyed this a big deal can't wait for the expansion to show up and this was supposed to be my <laughs> halloween playthrough actually it has taken me a little bit longer and i didn't expect that this game 
would take so long on camera actually. I honestly thought I would be done in two videos originally but then I noticed okay there's a lot of back and forth a lot of rules that you have to re reference. Rulebook is outstanding really great. Not so sure if I oof, there's not really a whole lot of use for this reference guide because the reference guide then ultimately is referring back to the rules in a lot of instances and this is not what a reference guide should be doing. This should give you all the in-depth detail but okay I'm really complaining here on a very very high level quite honestly. Anyway I really hope you enjoyed my little playthrough here. Hope to see you soon in one of my next videos and yeah of course I always keep forgetting before I forget you and I really always think about you guys. Huge shout out to all of my patrons and channel members. You guys are truly amazing. Can't tell you how much I appreciate your support and yeah with that being said hope to see you soon in one of my other videos and until then bye bye